Come bless the Lord. Come bless the Lord. All you servants of the Lord. All you servants of the Lord. Who stand by now? Who stand by now? In the house of the Lord. In the house of the Lord. Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. In the holy place. In the holy place. And bless the Lord. And bless the Lord. And bless the Lord. And bless the Lord. Good morning, Bernathan Church School students, families, and friends. My name is Solomon Keel. I'm the school pastor. Welcome back to a new school year. Let's begin by opening the word. Be of good courage, and the Lord shall strengthen your heart. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in the heavens, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, as in heaven, so upon the earth. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we also forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. O Lord, forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Amen. So as we begin this new school year, I think many of us might be feeling a little bit anxious or a little worried or maybe even a little bit afraid or scared. All of you are going to be starting new grades and in new grades you may be meeting new classmates, new teachers, you may be doing new and different things and sometimes we can feel scared or nervous or afraid about those sorts of things. We're also starting the school year remotely. We're doing school online. And sometimes that can be difficult or challenging. And so I think all of us might be feeling a little bit nervous or worried or afraid in that situation as well. And when we are feeling afraid or nervous or scared, the Lord offers us comforting words. And I'd like to read some of those words to you today. This is from Psalm 27 and Psalm 31. And as I'm reading, see if you can notice when it talks about our hearts. I would have lost heart, meaning I would have felt very afraid, or I would have given up, or I would have felt hopeless. I would have lost heart unless I had believed that I would see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait on the Lord, be of good courage, and he shall strengthen your heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord, be of good courage, and he shall strengthen your heart, all you who hope in the Lord. Amen. So those words are our school theme for this year. Be of good courage, and the Lord shall strengthen your heart. We'll be talking about courage this year. And you might have sometimes heard people say that courage is a heart word because it has to do partly with how we're feeling, whether we're feeling brave or not. And when we talk about feeling anxious or worried or scared, those are also heart words. It has to do with the, th- the feelings in our hearts. And it's actually a really normal thing for people to feel nervous or afraid or scared. Even grown-ups feel nervous or afraid or scared sometimes. And when we talk about having courage, that doesn't mean that we will never feel afraid. Courage is actually those times when we feel afraid, but we do what we need to do anyway. Sometimes we might wonder about people that seem brave on the outside. We might think about people like firefighters that are willing to go into a burning building to save or rescue people. And we might think, those people must never feel afraid. 
But if you talk to people like that, very often they will say, actually, I was very afraid, but I did it anyway because I knew I needed to rescue those people. That's what courage is about. It's about doing the right thing even when we feel afraid. And that ability, the ability to do that, comes from the Lord. And partly, it takes practice. The more we practice doing what the Lord is teaching us to do in our lives, the more the Lord can strengthen our hearts so that we're not just doing brave things, but we're also eventually feeling brave in our hearts as well. So partly courage comes from practicing doing the right thing, practicing what the Lord teaches us. But also courage comes from those times when we trust in the Lord, when we trust that the Lord is taking care of all of us. It says in the writings, people who put their trust in divine providence have imparted to them a confidence that the Lord is directing their lot. That confidence is a kind of courage that the Lord can fill our hearts with when we trust and believe that the Lord is taking care of us. So my hope for you this year is that you can be of good courage and that the Lord will strengthen your hearts. Amen. May the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with us all. Amen. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Hello, for those of you that don't know me, my name is Greg Henderson. I have the privilege of being the principal here at the Bernathan Church School and to be part of this virtual opening of our 123rd school year. Thank you, Mr. Keel, for those inspiring words. The sixth graders probably don't remember this, but when many of them started school on their first day in 2014, we were all assembled as a school in the gym, and I was standing on stage talking to everybody, and I admitted that I was a little bit nervous. You see, it was the first time that I stood in front of everybody on stage and talked as the principal. Now, I've done that a bunch since then. And now, standing up on stage, I don't feel nearly as nervous as I did that first day. The same thing is true for other things for me. I can remember my first day as a teacher. Some of your parents were there in the room as my students. That first day was pretty nerve-wracking. But a couple days later, all those nerves were gone. Is the same thing true for you when you do things? Are there things that you remember being nervous about doing for the first time that now you don't give a second thought about? Why is that? I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that we are nervous, maybe even a little bit scared, about things that we don't know. And once they become things that we do know, they are no longer scary. It's like that shadow in your dark bedroom that stops being scary when you turn on the light and realize it's just a pile of clothes. So what do we do when we face something new, something that we don't know enough about yet to not be nervous about? Well, one thing we can do is we can trust those people around us, especially our leaders. Your teachers, for instance, they love working with students. They have not chosen to be teachers because they love math or grammar, but because they want to help you succeed. Trust that they will help you have the best year possible. Mr. Keel reminded us that the Lord gives us courage. 
He is our ultimate leader. And he definitely has our best interests at heart. The more we can trust in him, the more courage we can have to face the things that make us nervous. And as Mr. Keel said, courage is a wonderful thing, but it doesn't make us not scared, afraid, or nervous. A quote I like from a famous cowboy actor, John Wayne, says that courage is being scared to death and saddling up anyway. Now, I don't know about being scared to death, but I think that that nervousness that comes from approaching something new isn't the worst thing in the world. I mean, after all, we don't want to have done everything so many times that there are no longer challenges. Courage helps us move forward into those new challenges. This year certainly brings a lot of unknowns with it. Every year has some, like new teachers and new material that you're going to learn. But we begin this year in a way we haven't begun a year before, and that means there are a lot of questions. What will remote learning be like this year? What will Zoom classes look like? What is orientation week going to be like? When will we get to be able to come back to the school together every day? We are about to enter something new. That can make us nervous. It can also be exciting. Let's use the courage we have been given, get on our virtual saddles, and begin this adventure together. Hope you have a good week. Hope you have a great year. Thank you.